Top story this morning is a big news development taking place in Mali. Months-long anti-government protests in Mali have now culminated in a military coup by mutinous soldiers at the garrison city of Kati. Mali's president, Ibrahim Keita, who is currently in military custody, resigned on state television a short while back. He also announced the dissolution of Mali's parliament. Listen in. De son accompagnement au long de ces dernières années, de la chaleur de son affection, nous dire ma décision de quitter mes fonctions, toutes mes fonctions à partir de ce moment. Et avec toutes les conséquences de droit, la dissolution de l'Assemblée nationale et celle du gouvernement. Allah aide et bénisse le Mali. Hours before the rebel troops arrested the Prime Minister and the President, gunshots were heard at an army base which is just 15 kilometers outside of Mali's capital in the garrison city of Kati. This is the same place where displeased Malian soldiers carried out a coup to defeat the Tuareg rebellion in the year 2012. On Tuesday, it was also reported that Malian soldiers had begun arresting senior military officers in an apparent mutiny. Witnesses report the movement of armored tanks and military vehicles on the streets of Kati. Norwegian and French embassies in Bamako have asked their residents to remain indoors to avoid any kind of conflict. Protesters and members of the opposition gathered at the Independence Day Square to celebrate. They also called for the total resignation of President Keita and extended its support to mutinying soldiers in Kati. The international community has now condemned the coup attempt in Mali. The West Africa bloc, or the ECOWAS, has closed its borders with Mali for now, and they are also planning to impose sanctions on Mali. The UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is calling for the immediate release of Mali's president and Prime Minister. The Security Council will convene later today behind closed doors to discuss the crisis. Both the African Union and the European Union have also condemned the coup attempt. Soldiers from Kati have always played a major role in modern Mali's politics. The soldiers from the very same barracks have earlier backed Amado Sanago, who is a, M M a Malian army officer and the leader of the 2012 coup. President Amadou Toumani was replaced by Commander Amadou Sangogo, who later defended northern Mali from Al-Qaeda terrorists. Toumani went on to Senegal in exile, only to be welcomed home in 2017 by then Prime Minister Modibo Keita. Mali's deposed President Ibrahim Keita was also facing massive protests with thousands of citizens demanding his resignation. The protests, which began in July, are now being led by a coalition of opposition called the M5RFP, which contested the recent local elections and accused the government of incompetence and corruption. So far, 11 protesters have died and more than 124 have been injured in clashes with the police. Mali has struggled for peace and stability since 2012. The ethnic Tuareg rebels who are aligned with jihadi terrorists had earlier seized two-thirds of the northern province forcing former colonial power France to intervene and help Mali. Attacks by Islamists have increased in Mali and President Keita's opponents blame crony capitalism and corruption to be the reason for the failing security in the state.